When accessing the menu, the user will be prompted to enter an access code. At the customer level, the access code is four zeros, zero, 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 zero. This will provide the user access to only view the operation and running log menus. To enter the operation menu, either double tap the key with your finger or scroll through with the up and down arrows on the keypad and press the enter button to select. The operation menu allows the user to view and or select from the following. Pressure type, you can select from A or B settings. Unload and load pressure A set points. Unload and load pressure B set points. Starting source, including local, communications, remote, and schedule. Loading source, including pressure, communication, and remote. Power return restart, or PRR. With the PRR on, the compressor will return to the operational state it was prior to losing power. So if the compressor was in standby and power is lost, when power is restored, the compressor will return to the standby state. Your Modbus settings, total run hours, these are the hours the compressor is powered on, motor run hours, when the motor is running and counting both loaded and unloaded times, motor on off counter, these are your motor start stop cycles, loaded hours, the compressor is actively producing air. Your loaded on off counter. This is your compressor's load cycles. And load percentage. The percentage of time the compressor is loaded while running. The configurations menu allows the user to view the following. Pressure correction, offset for pressure transducer calibrations. Temperature correction, offset for temperature calibrations, such as discharge temp. Your B5P is the separator tank wet pressure if equipped. B2T is your ambient temperature. Min and max pressure of transducers. Multifunction outputs N5 through N8. Language settings, usage units, time, and screen saver settings. The manager mode menu is where additional operational functions can be viewed, such as your YD timer, or Y delta starter timers, your load delay timer, when starting, how long the compressor will wait before loading, the auto stop delay timer, if the compressor runs unloaded for a set time, the unit will shut down, wait for pressure to drop below the load set point before restarting, the stop delay timer, default is 30 seconds. When you press the stop button, the machine will unload and wait 30 seconds before shutting down. The blowdown delay timer, how long the compressor must wait before it can be restarted after the unit is stopped, either by hand or auto. Drain timer, drain interval, both are aftermarket installed options. Fan on temperature, fan off temperature, and fan stop delay. The starting source menu found in the operational screen allows you to activate the schedule function. To set the schedule, go to the schedule menu. Please note the schedule clock is a 24 hour clock. For example, starting the compressor at 8 a.m. on Friday and ending at 4 p.m. on Friday would look like this. Select Friday in the schedule menu, enter start time of 0800, 
and an end time of 1600. If you wanted the compressor to run 24 hours on Friday, then enter 0001 to 2359. This format would be repeated for each day you wanted the compressor to run.